Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. You guys may have heard about the huge info dump that Marvel did about all their Phase 3 movies. I'm gonna start with Spider-Man, Infinity War, and Captain Marvel. I know it seems like all the studios are dropping all their comic book news right now. I think it's mostly a coincidence that Marvel invited a bunch of journalists to see everything that's happening in Phase 3. Very little of Phase 4, but I will address that. So what I did is I broke like a couple of the really big movies into a couple separate videos. So this will mostly be Spider-Man, Captain Marvel stuff leading into Infinity War and right after that because some of the movies overlap. But if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get everything. I do Marvel videos every week. So what I'm going to do is I'll explain the timeline real quick here because Captain Marvel and Spider-Man are tail end of Marvel Phase 3. There's still like a whole bunch of films. There's Black Panther footage to talk about. I'll do that in my next video. They even confirm Thor Ragnarok Warbound from Planet Hulk. So all that stuff's coming. But starting with Spider-Man Captain Marvel, they showed off Captain Marvel's costume. They didn't have any footage. They had concept art of that. And they're getting ready to announce the director. So I'll explain the suit in a second. The bigger stuff, the more immediate stuff, is Spider-Man. Everybody's freaking out about what his future in the MCU is going to be. Do not worry. If there's anybody that's good at calming fans down, it's Kevin Feige. What he did is assure us that Spider-Man would participate in a big way in the fourth Avengers film, which is happening right after Captain Marvel. So the Captain Marvel movie is coming out March 8th, 2019. That fourth Avengers film is coming out May 3rd, right after that. And then the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming, which they're just calling Spider-Man Homecoming 2, is coming out July of that same year. So now you understand why I'm talking about these two characters in the same video. Because you have Captain Marvel, then two movies featuring Spider-Man happening right after that. So on the Spider-Man side of things, they haven't even gotten to the first movie yet, so there wasn't a lot to talk about for what's happening with the future of Spider-Man. But, you know, the symbiote saga is a big thing in Spider-Man history. But think about the early Avengers hopeful Spider-Man and the idea of the Iron Spider symbiote. Like, he gets the suit, messes up big time, Tony takes it back because he's not ready for it, and then he finds a way to earn it back through his own acts of heroism, wearing his old homemade version of the costume. And the important thing that they haven't addressed yet, but is actually a pretty big deal, is whether or not Peter is going to be a junior in high school during that second Spider-Man Homecoming movie, or if they'll move in real time and he'll be a senior. Because in the real world, it'll be two years after we see this first Spider-Man Homecoming movie. He's about 16 years old. He's a sophomore in high school. So logically, in two years, he would be a senior. So is he going to skip a year? Will he be a senior? Are they going to do a third Spider-Man Homecoming movie? Those are all questions that'll have to wait till after they renew their sharing arrangement. And I know that was the thing that everybody was freaking out about a while ago because of Amy Pascal's comments. I'll link that video at the end of this. But my belief is, reading between the lines, is that she said that even though it may never happen again, that just means that it won't happen again until they renew their arrangement. But even if they do a third Spider-Man Homecoming movie and Peter Parker is out of high school, he'll still be a very young version of the character. But I think the whole idea is, is that by that first Avengers movie, he will be an Avenger. If you survive Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, you have officially earned your spot on the Avengers. And even though I'm, I'm putting them together in this video, Captain Marvel and Spider-Man, I don't think that he's going to appear anywhere in her movie. They did have a brief romance in the comics. Like, they went out for a little while, but I think fans, like, either went crazy about it or they absolutely hated it. And this is all around the Siege era, so this is way before what's happening right now. The current Captain Marvel title, like, if you're new to the Captain Marvel character, you've never read her before, I would recommend that you start with the new stuff, The Mighty Captain Marvel. In the way the first couple of issues read, it's almost like they're writing it for people who are like, oh my god, I'm excited about Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, but I have no idea what's going on with the character. There's all this history. So that would be the place to start. But way back when she was still Miss Marvel, so this is like way back 2008, 2009, I think, it's like Miss Marvel number 34. She's on the run from the government. She does doesn't have her power so he saves her and as they're sitting around sort of collecting themselves he kind of asks her out on a date and then they pay that off with the date in Miss Marvel number 47 many issues later. So then later they pair the characters together during her first appearance as the Captain Marvel character. Like she'd been Miss Marvel for forever in the comics. She became a captain and then Captain America gave her the idea to start using the Captain Marvel name 
after Captain Marvell as a way to honor him as well as acknowledge her rank. Technically, she's a colonel now, but a lot has happened between the time she debuted with the Captain Marvel name in the new version of the costume. That happened in a Spider-Man comic, so this is still well before Marvel sort of reimagined, went all new, all different before Secret Wars. But in Avenging Spider-Man number one, she gives him a ride. So you see this funny panel here where he's riding on her back. So obviously this is a much older version of Peter Parker. You might see a version of this scene in Infinity War, but Peter Parker's in high school. So the closest thing you're going to see to a romance between the two of them is him just having a super big crush on her, which all the other Avengers will. Spider-Man is going to have to get in line behind Iron Man. You can just picture the way that Tony Stark is going to react to a fully powered Captain Marvel. Remember Iron Man 3 when Pepper Potts hulks out on Extremis and kills Aldrich Killian and Iron Man's jaw just hits the floor like he's kind of scared, kind of excited at the same time. That's probably how he's going to react to Captain Marvel when she's at full strength. So we can talk more about Spider-Man, Captain Marvel crossover when we get closer to those movies coming out. Let's just say that all the characters have had really funny run-ins in the comics before. It'll be funny to see if they lay any Easter eggs for that when they get to Infinity War and all the characters meet on screen. But the Captain Marvel concept art that they showed off, there were about three pictures, two with her suit on, and one with her using her powers, just to kind of show you the scope of her abilities. Like I said, if you haven't read Captain Marvel before, start with Mighty Captain Marvel, because the costume that they showed off in the concept art looks a lot like that version. Now, it's a little bit different. The colors aren't quite as bright. It looks a little bit like this. This is just fan art, but it's very close. And I know everybody was wondering about the sash. There are a couple reasons for Captain Marvel's sash. One, it's a way to honor her costume when she was Miss Marvel, so it's a way to carry that forward, like say all this history has come before, but it also serves this visual function on the page when they're flying around on screen and there's nothing else around. It gives you a sense of motion, which direction she's headed. So it's a trick of comic book artists to make her pop on the page more, and it's the same trick they use for the Iron Fist character when they created him back in the 70s, that's the reason that he had a sash. So it serves a practical function as well as a legacy function. What about her powers though? They said they were changing her origin story just a little bit so that it didn't read like Green Lantern. They didn't want it to feel like, you know, space object comes, gives her powers because she gets into this freak accident with a Kree machine called the Psyche Magnetron and she becomes this battery for energy. She has a whole bunch of powers. So one, the biggest one is absorbing energy. So if you haven't read The Ultimates, it's actually a really cool comic. She has the Blue Marvel, who's kind of like an antimatter reactor, blast her with energy so that she can then absorb it and redirect it. So when she absorbs energy, it enhances what she already has. So she's already super strong. She can fly. And she has this cosmic awareness, which is sort of like a cosmic version of Spider-Man's Spidey sense. So imagine in the Captain Marvel movie, if Thanos were coming to Earth during Avengers Infinity War, she would get a sense for that. Like, oh my God, something really bad is about to happen. In the way that Spider-Man could sense that something really bad around the corner is getting ready to happen. So because Kevin Feige has been teasing, her power levels are going to be so much greater than the characters that we've seen so far, at least from Earth. Now, Thor is like one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe, but he's not from Earth. It's just that it's important that she be the connective tissue between the cosmic movies and the Earth-based movies. Kevin Feige said that was a big thing, and that sort of plays into her role in the comics, too. She's the leader of Alpha Flight which is sort of like this satellite agency that exists in orbit and protects the Earth from extraterrestrial threats. So that's kind of going to be what her future in the MCU is. So when she's not hanging around with the other Avengers in their movies, she's going to be in outer space in Earth's orbit, just protecting from anybody that comes looking for trouble. So it makes sense if she's going to be this Earth-based character who handles extraterrestrial threats, that when they get to her movie, there's going to be a cosmic villain that comes to Earth and because her origin story is so tied up in Kree mythology, there should be an element of that, but they haven't said anything about who the villain of the movie is going to be. They really only showed her in the concept art fighting this giant robot just to show off her powers. There are really only a couple of giant big green robots in the Marvel Universe, but it might be a version of Arsenal Alpha, which is a Miss Marvel villain from the comics, but it's like this robot that was created by Howard Stark that later gets turned into a villain. So it's all just speculation. We don't know exactly who the villain of the Captain Marvel movie is going to be, so you guys can let me know what you 
you want them to do from the comics. So we'll see how it goes down. But there's going to be a whole bunch of new Spider-Man stuff dropping really soon. That movie's coming in June, so the press tour is getting ready to start. If you've been seeing all the Guardians footage that's dropping, they're going to be doing that for Spider-Man really soon. But what's going to happen next is, is unless there's new footage dropping from other people, I'm going to be doing some Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther. I'll be talking about Warbound and the footage they showed off for Black Panther. It was all really cool. So while you wait for that to post, you can click here to watch the trailer for the DCEU Superman prequel series that they might be doing. They haven't confirmed it yet, but it's a pretty cool trailer. And you can click here for my Guardians of the Galaxy video. Thank you so much for watching. Let's high five. I'll see you guys in the next video.